Hello, my name is Dr. Anthony Basil, head of the School of Computing at Regent Higher Education College in London. My presentation topic is to introduce level four students to user experience. My webinars normally start with a wellness check and an informal chat with video and sound. During the lesson, we will only use the text chat for questions and answers. Each session will ask for permission to record. Each session, we will review the module learning outcomes. Students, you are also asked to set individual personalized learning outcomes. The BBC site gives you a pre-test to do in your own time so you can gauge your prior knowledge about computing and usability. The midterm online multiple choice question test will provide feedback on your academic progress. Check the VLE for the assessment calendar dates to establish your study work plan. The final assessment is a 1500 word case study analysis where you provide evidence to justify your conclusions and recommendations. Please note, if you get a distinction, we will ask your permission to add this to our examples of Good Practice Library. Post in the text chat now any keywords that should be included in your assessment submission. Here are some possible key terms. Post in the text chat how you might build these into your assessment essay. Note the italic verbs that link to the learning outcomes. Along with your academic degree, you may want to get industry certification for your CV and your career development. See Test Gorilla for sample tests. Look at professional online courses to help you get your IT industry recognition. Here's an activity to help us form a common language. Post any terms you know related to human computer interaction or usability experience in the WooClap website by the web link or using the QR code. This will make a dynamic tag cloud to provide a profile of our common understanding. Each week, your task is to submit two student-made multiple choice quiz questions related to the assessment topics with three possible answers, like A, B, and C. The correct solution should be linked to a reference in the next few weeks, we will provide tutorials on how to write good multiple choice questions. Now, when you do research for this module, don't only focus on the good practice for usability design. We also want you to identify how computing systems fail. Have you heard of Karl Popper? What about falsification? Post your examples in the text chat now. Okay, so here's our breakout group exercise. We've got the breakout rooms set up and you're assigned to various groups. What we're going to ask you to do is to capture this website homepage on your laptop or your smartphone to identify the weaknesses of this usability design. Elect a group presenter um, to list the problems so we can develop design principles on how to improve this website. We're going to give everyone 10 minutes to do this. Okay, break into your groups and then come back. All right, here are some uh, possible issues uh, that, that you may have found. Um, how do these match up to your discussion? So I found navigation, the menu, you might want to have something like uh, breadcrumb tracking, um, a site search option. 
Um, certainly the, the, the colors um, are something that we need to, to address in this website design in terms of usability. Um, and there's something that we might explore more about the rule of three. But also, how about the content structure? Now, um, there's a, a brilliant resource called the Yale Style Guide that I'd suggest we take a look at. And the link is there for you to explore after this lesson. Okay, do a search now um, or after class if, if you're out of time to answer this in your own words. Who is Jacob Nielsen? What is Jacob's Law? Look at the following slides then to compare your answers. Okay, so if you look at these websites, you'll, you'll find some related information about Jacob Nielsen and the Nielsen Norman Group. Uh, this is uh, uh, one of the gurus of usability um, and we'd highly recommend that you read his material um, along with the suggested reading list uh, to supplement your final assessment for your Harvard references. Now, um, I've written in, in the text chat the statement, um, I agree with Jacob's Law. And Jacob's Law says, users spend most of their time on other sites. This means that users prefer your site to work the same way as all the other sites they already know. So what we'll ask you to do is to put a happy face um, in, the, in that statement if you agree or a sad face if you disagree. And after we see the postings, we'll, we'll ask you maybe to justify why you agree or disagree with Jacob's Law. So we'll do this as an exercise now. And then what we'll do is we'll have a look at the video, the YouTube video right after this. So in summary today, what we want you to do is to reflect on your learning journey. This is core to progressing through the module. Here are two tasks for the next lesson. In the text chat, we want you to post a sentence about something that you've learned today. Okay, there's no right or wrong answer. We just want you to reflect on the various exercises and tasks and discussions, breakout groups, Think about what happened and then post something that you've learned. This gives us a nice review from this lesson and a starting point for the next lesson. Now, very important is to find a study partner. We want you to uh, possibly set up your own WhatsApp group and be able to chat with each other after the sessions so that you can review and prepare for the assessment. Of course, it's individual assessment and you need to submit your own individual work, but we encourage you to work with a study partner or um, a study group um, in terms of doing the research and sharing your research resources. And don't forget, we've got the um, weekly student-made quiz questions with the answers where you identify the correct answer and justify why you've got that with a reference. Well, we hope that this was a good session for you, and we look forward to any comments or questions that you might have. Send us your draft work, and we can do peer review in the coming weeks. Thanks very much. Bye now.